Welcome to another great episode of Careful Boys. We have with us today, Colleen Lionheart. Colleen! I wanted to know, since we're of the generation where we were not entirely born into the internet. The Attitude we Era. We kind of had to figure attitude it era. out. As we were growing up, we, you know. 56K, man, that shit was yeah. rough. It was and terrible. We were, we were having and experiencing the most unsupervised internet usage days that were possible. Like, hey, yo. Mm -hmm. Very, very little ways to hide anything you were doing, as well as a very little reason parents even gave a shit about what you were looking at. So during that time, when you were a kid, Glory days. did you ever make friends with people online that you never actually met in real yes. life? To this yep. Day? Yes. Where? Uh, I don't know where, but uh, but I would usually troll all the time and pretend like I'm like a 15 year old girl. And then I would try to like seduce dudes. <laughs> and then- Sports some, a legend, dude. And then somehow, <laughs> I ended up talking, I found out I was talking to a chick. Who was really Joe on the other side doing <laughs> the same thing. And then we started like talking and then I think through our conversation we realized, oh shit, like she's in Anaheim and I'm in Cerritos, she's kind of close. Oh, wow. And then it went from there to on the phone. And then, uh, we re and then we started realizing some of our friends probably go to the same church or whatever. And no, then it was crazy, but I don't know what happened from that point. Oh, but you didn't you get like, touch. I mean, she was a real girl, right? You talked to her on the phone. Yeah, a lot of times. Unless, I don't know, there's some crazy technology. It's like a... Unless it was like Manti Teo. Yeah. Manti Teo, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Or even the Great FBI boy. fucking dropped the ball. And yeah, it was, yeah. it was a real girl. <laughs> and you never met. That's you're, pretty cool. You're the only guy I've ever met who actually met a real girl on the internet. And this yeah, was like... usual, your fucking luck is insane. Trying to be a girl. It's probably 1998, maybe? Wow. Yeah, it's like back in the <laughs> well, day. See, the cool thing is back then, like, I know now there's a stigma about, like, meeting people online might be creepy or whatever. Back then, it was cool because... Yeah. You know, there were very little stories. Like, you didn't hear a lot of bad shit. We didn't know how weird it was yet. No, not at all. Yeah. Like, you could just go on Prodigy or CompuServe or whatever. Everything was just about meeting people and just saying random shit and tripping out that someone talked back. A yeah. M A S L. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you're a real person, you're on a computer, and it's like, whoa, you're a real person. <laughs> and then you start connecting with like-minded people. I remember, like, in early college, where it's still kind of weird, where you met people online, but there's, like, forums was, like, a big thing. And then my buddies that were into like fucking reptiles and like fishes and stuff, mm -hmm. they would start, they'd be like, hey, you wanna roll? Cause I was the guy, I was always the guy with the truck. So you just become the automatic help me move shit guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like, hey, can you, can you help me? We're gonna go fucking pick up his fish tank or whatever. And then I'm like, he's like, oh, no, don't worry, this guy's cool. And we show up to people's houses. And don't worry, he's a lizard guy. <laughs> yeah, and his whole house is fucking filled with like 20 little fish tanks of random things, fucking piranhas and like, you're just like, what the fuck? And I'm like, man, it's like a whole nother side to my friend that I never knew. I'm like, so this is what you're doing when you're fucking lurking around online, is fucking talking to other reptile people. So you're not describing Joe? No, this was uh, one of my <laughs> other buddies. I feel like a lot of these stories, I'm like, that's not Close. Joe? Could be Joe, yeah. So that's that, not Joe? <laughs> it could be. Joe, I mean, Joe probably sold those things. You saw yeah. piranhas at the time. I believe. My, my other friend was more of a customer. He was a buyer. He liked, mm. he liked those things. He went and bought from Joe. So in terms of people that um, meeting online that I did meet, there was one dude back in the day in early 90s AOL, um, you would have to go into chat rooms and the different chat rooms, if you went to the Asian tab, would be like split up by what type of Asian. There would be Pinoy Panay, there would be like Cambodian, there'd be like all this stuff. And you just go in and talk to people. And then what we used to do in the Pinoy Panay chat room is we would uh, raid other culture chat rooms and just talk shit for no reason. <laughs> so we would go into the uh, Cambodians chat room and just keep typing Cambo soup, Cambo soup, like over and over so they Cambo couldn't, they couldn't talk. Soup. And then we would do these macro images where they were like dashes and stuff, but it would make the Campbell soup can. Oh, right. <laughs> and then it would just take up the whole know. page. And then we would just piss them off like yeah, yeah. crazy. Because before they could even Campbell's reply soup. anything, yeah. they're like, oh yeah, it's like douche, douche, yeah. douche. And like, yeah, fuck, yeah, I can't yeah, get yeah. a word in, god damn it. And you would basically just fuck their chat to death and they would all leave it's and they would incredible. be like, you Brian's fucking feel wild. Dude, you're I don't know so wild. Think. So back in the day, for no reason, for absolutely no reason. Filipinos just were beefing with the Cambodians for zero reason. And that was just fun. Because of you, you started. And then we would do it back and forth. It was kind of like a lighthearted joke. And then the guys I would do that with, I was like, dude, this is fun. Like, you're actually really cool and stuff. And then I found out uh, later on that that dude was also, like, got into breaking at the same time as me. No way. And then I would see him in the B-boy 
Pinoy Pinai chats, and I'd be like, yo, this is tight. Oh, shit. Yeah, and then uh, later on, he ended up, uh, I would run into him from time to time in my life in different real life scenarios. In person? Yeah, so it Whoa. turned out later, like, one of the guys that's in my crew, his name's Rudy, he's actually cousins with that fucking guy. No way. Yeah. And then now today, like, uh, we were talking the other uh, month about Hollow Hollow ice cream. And the uh, Hollow Hollow ice cream place got tagged in the comments, like, you should try this place. Turns out he's the fucking owner of no it. No way. What? This guy keeps oh. popping up in your How life. How crazy is that? Yeah. You have to marry this guy or wow. something. Yeah. <laughs> so what was laugh. born out of Cambodian hate yeah. is now a nice little Filipino friendship. Love. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, exactly. And here's a really interesting story about people I'd never met. This is going to be really fucking weird. So another uh, sub chat in AOL at the time, it was called Dr. Game Wiz. Dr. Game Wiz was not only a chat room, but it was like a little, it was AOL's only gaming section. That was just all about video game stuff. You can go get codes for games, you can get strategy guides. It was called Dr. GameWiz, okay? In the chat room, there was one Dr. GameWiz who's probably the owner of that little subset thing that was sanctioned by AOL. So you can't just make your own Dr. GameWiz. So this guy would talk to people like, hey, welcome to the chat. If you guys got any questions, whatever. I thought that was so cool. I was a kid at the time, maybe like, I was probably in eighth grade. I thought it would be cool to make an AOL name called GameWiz Junior, and I was gonna act like I was affiliated with the chat, <laughs> but I acted like a robot. So I used those alt fonts where you could just make weird symbols. Like wingdings? Yeah, like weird <laughs> things that you normally, people didn't know how or to like do Or like color that. your font. Yeah. Or... Like if you hold alt yeah. and you say 0134, let go, it would be like a cross that you can't normally type. Mm -hmm. uh... So I would like do these weird symbols to make it look like I'm a bot, which they didn't have at the time. And I would be like, welcome to the chat. I am your bot, GameWiz Junior. And people would ask for codes for games and I would just look them up at some other source because I had stacks of gaming magazines and I would tell them the codes they wanted to know oh as God. if it was an auto response and people were freaking out they would go there's a fucking automatic robot giving us the codes to the things we're asking for you're and i did this for a year straight like a very helpful tool yeah dude yeah. yeah were you like a good samaritan and then at yeah. one point i fucked up and i did the alt code wrong and one of the symbols was off uh. and it started this huge like conspiracy of like i think game was junior is a real guy you noticed that he did the symbol wrong right here and all this whole chat of like a hundred kids were like i think he might be a real guy it was a real thing and i got so embarrassed that i left the chat <laughs> 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 so they fucked themselves out of all these cheat codes. Yeah. They fucked up. They had it for like for a couple hours. Dude. That's yeah. the most internet thing ever. We have to call out something that doesn't fucking matter and then you ruin the whole fun of it. Yeah, and then yeah. Game Wiz Jr. jumps off a fucking cliff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Let everybody down. I, like, remember, Fuck. I, remember I, one, I remember one time I turned in uh, one of my, like, my fifth grade or sixth grade like homework assignments all in wingdings. <laughs> Wow, Bro, that's dude. also yeah. the most bar thing ever. Like, I, was like, I actually wrote the paper, but then you know how like you're like messing with fonts and shit? You highlight the whole thing. Yeah, and I was like, oh, what? It's fucking butterflies and zippers and shit like that. I'm like, butterflies and oh, fucking send this one in. You thought that, is this just to, to be funny? Yeah, I got in trouble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Fuck. But they did say like, and I think then they had, they created the, the new rule, like Times New Roman 10 or eight. Because of you. He standardized the policy for essay turns. Because the teacher went through a box of red pens trying to correct your paper. <laughs> nah, this can't even happen to me again. Wing D. Box of red pens. Like, oh. It's all the yin yang symbols. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Teachers like hurting their cramp in their hand because they're doing so many fucking red marks. Yeah, over I can read this. Uh, Damn it. Teachers got to fucking re fucking type in, in Wingding's font and translate it to figure out what you said. Yeah. You ever meet any girls online? I don't know. I, I think I always like randomly would chat and random things like that, like just uh, genres mm -hmm. of things. But I was always, I didn't know who I was talking to, so I didn't ever really pursue deeply. Mm -hmm. And then I always had very limited amounts of internet time. And oh, then my sister got it because she's the older sister. Yeah. So I always got fucking what felt like 10% of the time that she got because she was older. What about during the whole like AIM era? Did you, were you able to like your friends? By that time I was talking to friends already. Oh. Yeah, it was just yeah. like, you know, when I, I wasn't like trying to meet new people through AIM. I was trying to like get chicks AIMs at my school, you know what I mean? And like just kind of be in like those groups. Classic Anthony. But maybe it's also because I'm like <laughs> younger than you guys by a couple years, right? So it's like uh, by that time, 
people started like having their aim identity and like being able to talk about that versus like your identity, you're hiding behind your identity and you're just in chat rooms not knowing who people are. Yeah. By the time you're like handing them out and trying to meet people with this like digital mm -hmm. username, you know Does what anybody saying? else remember their username, their AIM username? Absolutely. Yeah, I had a shit. lot of weird shit. I had like X po folks X, I had like <laughs> po folks 64. <laughs> mean like, like poor folks? Yeah, okay, so there's this fucking, po uh, in Buena Park on fucking uh, Beach Road, there's a po folks restaurant. Do you remember this? <laughs> Why are you repping it? <laughs> Boy, I, park? Park? I, I don't know. I just thought it was fucking funny. I ate there one time. He's like, looks out the window. <laughs> I ate there one time, and I was like, it's all right. But then it said like po folks, and I was like, it that much. I was like, my parents are poor. <laughs> what kind of food is it? like? I, I literally thought I was like, my parents are poor. Po folks is like poor fucking parents, and I was like, that's me. Oh. Wow, you identified with. You it. thought it was funny. The po folks, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. But I really did. I was like, my parents are poor, so uh, my, my old screen name was Silly Goose, but the second O was a zero. See, yeah, did he identify with a goose? But that's like oh, gang that's Asian good. gangsters nah. at the time had names cool. like that, Bert though. Swan? <laughs> Silly goose. Bert, Bert Swan, Swan and the Silly goose? goose. That's interesting. Some of the scariest Asian thugs I met had names like that in real fucking life. They like there were some gangs that were like, "Yo, what gang are you?" Oh, Teddy Ruxpin gang. Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> And they look fucking fierce. I were to say the silly goose gang. Yeah, like one there were people friends. like. Yeah. One of my friends' uh, older cousins was a uh, like a two-time cop killer already. So he's one of, Wait, oh, what? He had a medal for him. So he's one of those dudes where like if no, no. if like they pulled him over, uh, if cops pulled him over and then they like they ran whatever his information, they would shoot him on the spot. <laughs> like they wouldn't even like put him in jail or whatever. They're like, okay, this is for killing like our our brothers. Like you're uh, like I don't care what it is if we find. So he's one of those guys where he's like, he's so on the verge of either getting like exported back to Vietnam or fucking thrown in jail for life that he was just down for anything because he's so fucking crazy because he's on that edge. You know, like it doesn't matter where he goes, it's gonna be the worst sentence ever. Mm -hmm. And his name was Muffin. Well, it's like, cute, what though. the fuck? He's like the craziest motherfucker as well. His name's Muffin. Damn. He was loved at one point. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> he was loved. How did he just get Muffin? It was just Muffin. That's how you get a name like that. Well, it's because the way he had his hair. So he had slick back hair. And I guess the way he faded it, it always poured over a little bit like a oh, muffin top. Right. So Cupcake. Muffin became his thing. But then he's like this crazy ass motherfucker just named Muffin. Dude. Scary. Yeah, it's, it's funny. a gangster name yeah. for sure, dude. There were a lot of gangsters like that in chat rooms too. They had like gangster chat rooms on AOL. <laughs> gangster hotline? Isn't that funny? Yeah, pretty much. Like all the Asian thug dudes, and they would put their gang in their screen name. And I had crazy? my fucking Team Fortress Classic clan in my screen name. <laughs> we were 5150, the criminally insane, because like when you're a kid, you find out about that, and you're like, oh yeah, we're 5150. So then that was our clan. Crazy. Name, 5150, and then we played Team Fortress Classic and beat up all these other teams and shit. But those are the guys I knew, but I never met them. But then like, I, they, everyone called me Snake because I like Metal Gear Solid. So I was, the, I was like, call me Snake. Everyone <laughs> <laughs> called me Snake. Like, like you whisper it too. <laughs> yeah, call me Did you ever try to meet up with any of them? Like, no, any of you guys no. from San Diego Why not? or? Uh, I, I don't, I, I, there was no reason to. It was like, we played games online, we played this one game online, mm. and we played it really fucking well. And, and that was the only reason I had to even talk to them, really. Like, uh. outside of, like, my normal friend group. Oh, I recently met, um, I totally forgot, for like six, four to six years, I've been playing GTA online with a friend that lived in the Netherlands. Oh, wow. That I just met, like, randomly online. And we've just been playing GTA like uh, with a group of like 12 of us sometimes. And then uh, I met her recently when I was in Amsterdam for the first time. Whoa. Oh, cool. Shit. Yeah, it was dope. And Did she look like what you thought you pictured in her head? Yeah, like a fucking Netherland person. <laughs> Interesting. How does it feel like meeting someone, <sighs> meeting someone that you've known it's, without I think it's for I think it's different because nowadays games are different than it would have been back then where like back then it was so much about the game and then now it's so much more about the social. Oh. So like we know so much about each other's lives from just playing and talking for hours. It's really like therapeutic in a way. Yeah. And so like meeting in person is really just like meeting a, a close friend for the first time. Like wow. that's the know. opposite of meeting like family. You know like my mom's like, this is your cousin. You guys are best friends. I'm like, no, I don't know who the fuck he is. I don't know who the fuck this person is. Yeah, 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 right. When, when they go to Vegas, can they live at your house? I'm like, fuck no. I don't know who the fuck this person is. Like forced play dates. Exactly the opposite of that, like, yeah. Fuck no, I don't know who the fuck they are. I don't give a fuck. We have the same blood. Doesn't mean shit. 